Isaac Shardle built our first store, and I always stopped in when I sailed to the colony to see any new merchandise. I only visited Mr. Shardle's store with you one time. But John Andrew, I sure remember Mr. John Francis when he owned the store. I guess I have such a clear recollection of it because of all the beautiful and fashionable merchandise his mother sent to him from New York. It is a shame Mr. Shardle faced such shipping delays that he had to sell out to Mr. Francis. But Mr. Francis was a wealthy businessman from New Britain, Connecticut, and he sure did have some good connections in New York City to get supplies to us. I especially took notice of the new, modern tools and fancy nails of many different sizes. Our expansion at Bosarby was much easier with new hardware and building materials. The freeze of 1886 really hit Mr. Francis hard, and the whole colony was upset when he had to close his store. Thankfully, he led us all into his home where he set things up for shopping. Finally, he opened a new store, and what a welcome sight it was along the Halifax River, just in time for much needed supplies for our first bridge across the river. Yes, the long dock out into the Halifax did allow much new riverboat trade to New Britain, and we could ship citrus to the north. Please visit HalifaxCountry.com to view the collection of history books researched, written, and published by Ron and Alice Howell. In addition, view the list of presentations we have developed and given throughout Volusia County over the past decade. Thank you for viewing our film clips about our wonderful Volusia County history. <music>